This is your Monix Metals Market Update with Mike Maroney. Good afternoon. It's Monday, July 24th. My name is Mike Maroney. I am coming to you today from the Monex Precious Metals Studio. Let's do our week in preview. First of all, many investors have been very concerned about the current activity that is taking place in the precious metals market because we've seen a major drop in the U.S. dollar and the value of both gold and silver recently hit multi-month lows. But in the last two weeks, we've been able to springboard higher. But before we get into that, I want you to think about something. Imagine what you felt like two days before the Titanic hit the iceberg, if you were on that ship. You were enjoying the captain's gala and having a wonderful time. The last thing you were thinking about on that evening was how many lifeboats actually existed on this ship. Now, one of the reasons probably you weren't worried about it is because before the ship sailed, the builder of the ship came out and stated that this was the safest ship ever built. Now, normally that would be your first warning when the shipbuilder has to tell you how safe it is. And I look at what the head of the Federal Reserve here in the United States stated last week. When Mrs. Yellen came out and stated that the economy is in a much better situation than it's ever been and that she would not have to worry about any financial crisis any time in her lifetime, that would make me start to wonder how many boats are on the ship. Think about this. The head of the Federal Reserve comes out to tell us we don't have to worry about a financial crisis in her lifetime. Why are you talking about that in the first place? Now, it's interesting because the U.S. stock market continues to ignore the activity that's taking place in Washington. And if you think about what's happened in the first six months, we have basically gotten nothing done whatsoever. Have we repealed Obamacare even with the Republicans controlling the House and the Senate? No. Have we seen any sort of tax reform? No. Have we seen any infrastructures, actually uh, infrastructure programs being put on the table? No, nothing is getting done. A matter of fact, a lot of people are looking at the first six months of our new president's term and saying, we're in the midst of a political train wreck. But yet the US stock market continues to make new all time highs. And the head of the Federal Reserve is telling us we have nothing to worry about. We will never see a financial crisis again in her lifetime. But things are starting to look a little bit strange. One of the things that's taken place over the last few weeks is the price of the U.S. bond market continues to go down, which means interest rates are going up in an environment where interest rates should be somewhat stable. And bond traders are pointing to the fact that we have the debt ceiling issue sitting right out on the horizon. And if we can't fix that debt ceiling process, what could take place by October is that some of the money that's necessary in order to pay off the bonds may not be available. Is this why interest rates are suddenly going higher? Because you have to induce buyers to actually come into the market to buy these bonds because they're starting to worry about what sits out on the horizon. The interesting thing, since the election, we have seen the dollar drop from 103 to a low on Friday of 93.25. That just so happens to be the low which we experienced back in June of last year. The last time we saw the price of the dollar this low, silver rallied from $15.85 all the way up to $21, and gold rallied $150 from $1,200 to well above $1,300. Are we looking at similar events starting to transpire that could cause the precious metals markets to skyrocket. We're seeing the commodity currencies go up in price. 
We're seeing commodities go up in price. We're seeing emerging markets starting to actually move higher, which shows that we're seeing worldwide growth, and worldwide growth typically uses more commodities. I think right now, if you think about everything that's going on, it's time to start worrying about how many lifeboats are on the Titanic, and it's also time to start worrying about how you are protecting your portfolio in this type of situation. You need to give us a call here at Monex so we can show you how precious metals can help you hedge your portfolio and also profit in this type of environment. Give us a call today. Thank you.